Hey, what's up guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm Dude Long Couch. Welcome back to Metal Gear 5. Hope everybody's having a good day. I know I am. This is the first chance I've had to play this game in a couple days, and I'm really happy to be back in the saddle, so to speak. Uh, okay, before we get too far in here, I said in the last video that I wanted to come in and kind of mop up these side missions, these side ops. There's three of them, and uh, unfortunately they're all pretty far away from each other, so I kind of got myself into position here. Dicked around a little back here, I fultoned a couple guys, found some resources, nothing super crazy. But I did just process enough materials to come in and start construction on an R&D platform. So that's what I'm going to do. I, I think I want to get base development and R&D up to level 2. And then uh, I, I think I want to keep them like one level above everything else. So when these construction projects are done, we'll be everything will be at 1. So then I'll probably try to focus on getting R&D and base development to 3 before I get everything else to 2. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but that's just my Commencing platform my thought process right now. Uh, there's a truck I marked earlier coming back. I'm going to get down so that they don't see me. There's uh, one or two other things I want to do real quick before we actually get started on this mission. Let's see, we got to come in and do some combat deployments. I just have one team come back. Please select a mission. And there's another one out. I can only send out two right now. Let's see, GMP... I, I always look for missions that have uh, blueprints. I don't appear to have any of those right now. So we'll probably go for this one, because that's a lot of GMP. And I try to send, like, my crappiest team with the highest probability of success. I don't want to go in and micromanage these all the time. But if I just go with this... Unit dispatched. I think that's, like, a good... Uh, compromise. Because I have had those fail once or twice already. Good lord, there's already guys up here. And then you end up losing members of your team. Clouds. Analysis complete. That was the first time I've ever had... What the fuck? This guy is coming right for me. Yeah. What the fuck? Go to sleep. The uh, the frame rate kind of kind of took a little dump there. I think it's the first time I've seen that happen in this game. Not sure what that's all about. But that's okay. I don't know why this dude was all gung-ho trying to get me. Like, walking in that direction. He must have caught a glimpse of me or something, I don't know. Alright, so... Subject on board. This area that we're trying to get to with the side ops... I'm pretty sure it's like the same place where we did that one mission where we had to get that guy out. It's like kind of like in the middle of nowhere and there's no place to like land close to it and you got to just kind of you got to kind of fight tooth and nail to get there. Analysis complete. All these dudes are like on high alert. I mean, I did get spotted earlier, but I didn't think they'd still be on such high alert. All right, get down. I've kind of figured out that this is kind of like the best way to do these. The map has been updated. I mean, it might not actually be the best because it's kind of noisy when you fault people away. If they're conscious when you do that, then they'll shout and make noise. But as far as, like, doing the stick up and getting them on the ground, I'm pretty sure they'll stay that way perpetually until you go into an alert phase. How did this guy not see me? What an idiot. Alright, so tell him to get down. Because, like, when they're standing there looking at you, if they see that you're not there anymore, or if, if you're not, not pointing your weapon at them, then they'll, sometimes they'll, like, go for it. They'll be like, ah, I got the drop on you now. But if they're laying down on the ground, I think they just stay there until they have a reason to get up. Where are the others? Speak. Talk. Man, this guy's a tough bastard. Won't give me anything. And I also watched a video stream on Giant Bomb. He's coming too. 
Roger that. Where I saw them attempting like this really, really later side ops mission, it was like a it was a way harder version of uh, like a previous side ops. And they went in with basically nothing. They didn't have like tranks or hardly any equipment to work with. So you had to like procure a weapon on site. And I think that like when you don't have tranks or stun weapons, like holdups are the best option you have for taking guys out. And I also know that there's a rank you can get. There's like, so you know how they, they rank you at the end of every mission and there's like different criteria that they use to judge how good you did. There is a bonus you can get. I think it was called No Traces. Extraction arrived at Megabase. Caution. Sandstorm. Caution. Sandstorm approaching. And uh, basically the only way you can get that is by not using any items, not firing a single shot. You can't reload. Like, you can't fire around. You can't reload. The only thing you can do is draw your weapon and stick people up. That's the only way to take guys out. If you, uh... If you shoot them at all, you can't get that no traces bonus. And I'm not going to get it anyway because I've used items and crap already on this mission, but I just want to kind of get in the habit of doing that. Because I think that's how, like, pro players do it, you know what I mean? Alright, I'm going to use this sandstorm to uh, cover some ground. Probably running right into a damn outpost and don't even know it. Although I think if I stick to this cliff, I'll probably be okay. I hope so. I've also noticed that a lot of the stuff you want to bring out on your mission deployments is stuff that, um actually take some of your resources too, like the Phantom Cigar that you bring on every mission, and certain Shrank Rounds and stuff like that actually take resources every time you deploy. Like, everything takes a certain amount of GMP, but some stuff also requires, like, um, medicinal plants and stuff like that. So you kind of want to get that stuff as much Analysis as you can, I think. Complete. Okay, I don't recognize this place. I, th I thought I'd been here before, but now I actually think that that's incorrect. So this is going to be fun. This is like a whole new area here. Analysis complete. And honestly, the only reason we're here is because this is a side mission, a side ops to secure a stun arm blueprint. I don't even know what that is. I just know that I want it. And this looks like it'll be something different. So this is pretty cool. Analysis complete. Ooh, that guy's not too bad. He doesn't have any abilities, but he's B rank in uh I think that's base development and medicinal, the medic platform. I think that's what those are. And I'm probably in the best possible spot right now to gather intelligence. I don't think I can get any higher than this. But right now I'm only seeing like three dudes. And you know there's going to be a lot more. There's going to be at least double the number of what you can see. Generally. And it looks like that guy... He's already suspicious. I think all these guys are on some kind of alert status. This game is just like... It's so good, but it's so unforgiving, man. It's like the first time you come out into the open world, if you get spotted even once, it it's just sets everybody on alert for like the rest of the whole mission. Until you go back to some other base and kind of reset everything. This is all probably going to go horribly, horribly wrong really quick. But as always, we'll start out stealthily and just continue with that as long as we possibly can. Whoa, what was that? Oh, started the side ops. I thought I got spotted already when that popped up. It honestly scared me for a second. Thank you! Now get down. Okay, I don't actually want to Fulton this guy, because I think that's gonna... I think everybody else will see that, especially in the daytime. So we're gonna run an experiment. We're gonna leave him there on the ground, and we'll, we're gonna see how long he stays there. Analysis complete. Ooh, I heard music coming from in there. 
That means there's a tape I gotta go get. I, my hope is that that guy will stay right there indefinitely, at least until I, like, alert everybody else. And it looks like right in there is where the blueprint is, too, so... Awesome. That's my objective. I guess I don't even have to go to that side of the base at all. This might actually be relatively quick and painless. What are these guys doing? Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Ooh, that guy has some kind of skill. And why is he heading this way? What the fuck? These guys are like psychic sometimes. I found out though that just because a guy has a skill doesn't necessarily mean that it's something you care about. Actually, I want to give a shout out to uh, Alpha Haxon, one of my commenters on a previous video. He explained to me what the fuck is going on with those fights always breaking out. It's because of that troublemaker skill that some of your recruits have. It, it makes them start fights at the base, which can actually like lower the base level for a little bit. It can send people to the sick bay. They're just generally bad people. And apparently there are ways... Oh god. Uh, there are ways to cancel that out, like if you put troublemakers of the same type on the same platform. Uh, apparently it's not a problem. But I'm not sure that I trust that, and I don't fully understand how it works. So I think, uh, when I'm done here, I'm probably gonna go in and fire all those guys anyway. Because fuck them. I don't need them. And I hope at some point I can upgrade my binoculars to show me if it's a troublemaker skill or a skill I should actually give a shit about. I gotta imagine that'll happen at some point. This dude gave up already? Oh man. I'm not sure how to draw him over here. Alright, hold on a second. I'll let those guys leave. That guy's still just chilling on the ground, that's good. I wonder how... F okay, it's time to try something a little different. Uh, decoy. What did that say? After throwing, press the ready L2 button and the action button to deploy a diversionary balloon that looks like a soldier. Okay, I, I want to try this out. Now, how far can I throw these? I'd like to get it, like, on the other side of the stairs over there where they come down. Oh, man, he's... he's leaving. I want him to come down and be looking at the decoy, but like in the other direction. I just don't know if I can get that far. I don't get the arc. I don't know how far I can throw it when I'm laying down. If I crouch, is he gonna see me? Okay, sweet. Go over there. He doesn't even see it. Great. Alright, let's uh, try and get his attention. There you go, buddy. Yes, go take a look. He sees it. Surprise, bitch. That worked beautifully. I love it. All right, what do you got for me? Speak. Highly skilled soldier, huh? Okay, we'll take a look for that in a second. As for now, why don't you get down? And I want to see if I can recover the decoy. Maybe it's because he's in the way. I'm not sure. Oh, and there's the damn anti-air. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that if I can. First, let's get in here and get the blueprint. That's more important than anything right now. That's the whole reason I'm here. It's 
scary entering a building in this game because you have no way of knowing what's inside. Okay. Taking the tape. Taking that. Hold on a second. Side op completed. Yeah. Side ops list updated. Also, you know something? I have heard. Extraction arrived at mother base. That these uh communication type looking equipment things right here are actually like a focal point for all the communications equipment in a base. So instead of taking out like one or two or three of the individual satellites, you can just take out one of these and it'll fuck up comms across the whole site. I don't know if one C4 is enough. I hope like hell it is. I also don't know like what the uh, effective range of my detonator is. So we have a couple things to try out. It's funny how we've gotten so far in this game and there's still like, we've just barely scratched the surface of so much stuff. So much science to be done in every episode. Just trying to figure shit out. Now, there's gotta be a guy somewhere over here, right? Like this whole area wouldn't be devoid of enemies. Eh, well, you know, I guess it is. All right. I know from prior experience that these require two. So we'll set one there. And one here. Awesome. Now we're going to go back this way. Sneaky, sneaky. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I almost got uh, <laughs> almost got tricked by my own decoy. I saw him and I was like, oh shit, who's that? All right, let's take a look at the map. He did mark a highly skilled soldier. It's that guy right there. Can I place a marker on him? I don't think that's actually him. I think that's just a regular marker. All right, let's uh, Fulton this guy. And I guess he was far enough away that they didn't really notice. You gotta extract him. All right, I'd love to get that highly skilled soldier. But before we do that, I'm going to get to a safe place where I can... Well, hold on a second. Which one is he? He's the guy... Wait, why isn't it showing him? He had a, a yellow dot before. Oh, so the yellow dot's gone, but he's still labeled as elite. Well, whatever. So I know that it's this guy right here. Now, if I mark him from here, marker placed. I think that marker will actually stick to him. All right, so let's try and get him out of here. My question is, can I walk through this place without getting electrocuted? This whole, like, transformer area kind of seems like a place that might have some bad effects <laughs> if you step in the wrong area. And I can see that the marker does actually move with him. Okay, so I saw this guy earlier with the skill, but he says... I got out of an interrogation that he's highly skilled, so hopefully that means it is something I would want, and not like a troublemaker skill. I didn't know the weather was unclear. Alright. Okay, so far so good. This place isn't quite as heavily populated as I thought it would be. But I do know that every now and then the guys in the truck show up and run into this building. So I really gotta watch my ass, keep an eye out for that. You have arrived at destination. Yes. Process materials. Get down. I'm just gonna take you right now. 
Hope your friend doesn't see it. I think he did. Yeah, he did. That's okay. Let's go in here and see what we got. He's coming too. Roger that. Aha! I can't believe just a little fuel was all that was in there. That's cool though. Now, I don't want to jinx myself, but I have almost done this whole thing fucking perfectly. Oh, we can get up there. Alright, I just want to explore a little bit, guys. This this map is so big, I have no idea what else could be found around here. See? Okay, he shouldn't see me from climbing the ladder. I hope. Look at this shit. Buddy over there. I guess the whole point of coming up here is just to get like a better tactical view of everything. And I certainly don't see anybody else. All right. Okay, now I'd love to drop down here without killing myself. Oh, the truck's coming back. Oh, Billy. You know what would be awesome is if I could take out the guys in the truck and then just drive out of here. And that dude is still laying down. So I think I think we can say like uh, safely say that just leaving them there is is a safe thing to do. I am kind of curious to see what happens if they go on alert. It would almost be worth throwing myself into an alert phase just to see that. Oh, they're acting a little differently this time. I guess because the guy called in that there was suspicious activity going on. Man, part of me just wants to pop both these guys in the head and just fold everybody out of here. Maybe I should do that. I wonder if I could capture the, the base doing that. <laughs> and that guy didn't even notice. Perfect. Alright. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, Hurt a little, but I'm okay. Taking you. Taking you. Honestly, I think this guy is the only other guy here. I think I should just take him. And I think I'll just... Maybe I'll, like, own this base. Oh man! I just CQC'd him and took his fucking gun. Get down. Lay down. Hey! What the fuck you think you're doing? This ain't a game, son. Tell me what you know. Spit it out. The map has been updated. He just marked the vehicle for me. Awesome. Now leave. Yeah, so that was a thing that I knew you could do. But I'd never really tested it out. And it's not something I really care to do. So when you start to CQC Subject somebody, the rest to us. if you just hold down left uh, L2 right after you CQC them, you'll automatically take their weapon and point it right at them and go into a hold up. Uh, the thing is, I don't usually want the more lethal weapons that these guys carry, so I don't tend to do that.
on. So what else is there to left? What else is there left for me to do to capture this base? Like maybe this isn't an area that can be captured. But like every other time it seems like when I like totally clear out an area, it'll pop up and be like, "Yo, you own this place now. You did it. Like you're done." It's possible that there's guys here that I just didn't see. Wait, what's marked up there? Plant expansion complete. Oh, that's the four-wheel drive. This is just a truck. Oh, you know what? Fuck that. I'll go for a four-wheel drive. Okay, let's just keep an eye out. Might still be somebody creeping around. Doesn't look like it, though. I wonder where this leads. That looks like it might be something fun. Can I drive the forklift? I want Guys, I want to drive a forklift. Just like in Shenmue. Oh. Authorized personnel only. I guess I'm not authorized. I'm just not cool enough. Well, guys, I think we've thoroughly exhausted this area, so what I'm going to do is blow up these things that I have c 4 Hopefully this works. Disable all external communication. And destroyed anti-air. Awesome. You destroyed their anti-air radar? It wasn't one of the targets. And that's put a hole in their air surveillance. The Damn right. Be getting close now. You can oh, that's so good. Zone near the outpost. Good. That's uh, let's, that's great. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Actually, hold on a second. Both of our combat deployments were successful, so we're gonna go in and redo those. Please select a mission. Break through the cordon. Common metal and emblem parts, and a shitload of GMP. Yeah, that's a good one. Yes, we will do that. I'll tell you what. Caution. Sandstorm approaching. And I was going to say we'll put our best guys on it, but there's still no need for that. It's the exact same chances, regardless of who you put on it, as long as they're good enough. So we'll just send our C through D crew, I guess. Unit dispatched. And... Volunteers. So you only have a 40% chance of getting volunteers, and you get way less GMP for the ones that have those. So I'm not convinced that that's... I mean, I guess it's good to do those every now and then, but it's a, it's, it's a long shot. That's a lot of common metal, though. Let's, let's try that. Oh, wow. Okay, so this one we do actually have to assemble because... We did not have a good percentage by default. And that brings it to 86 and 20. Still not great. I don't I don't love those odds. Okay, what happens if I put my 10 best guys on it? It went down. How the fuck did it go down? <laughs> it used to be 86, now it's only 80. What? Oh, it's because I that's right, I went in and changed the order. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, descending combat unit suitability, right? Yeah. Alright. These menus can be a little bit confusing. Once you, you gotta go in and figure them out. They're not that bad once you know what you're doing. But there is a bit of a learning curve, I found. All right, with our best guys on it, 95% chance. Predicted loss is 10%. Uh, this is the first time I've really had to go in and, like, like, really for real, like, manage this and try and, like, get the best odds possible without risking all my top guys. If I take the top three off, it's still 95. Okay. 
Um, one major, major complaint I have to make is that you should be able to see the percentage of success probability in real time while you're going in and making these changes. That would make this process a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more fun, I think. That took it down to 88. Okay. So let's uh, take off the last two. We'll just leave it like that. Hope for the best. You're taking a big risk. Unit dispatched. But that's the name of the game. And while we're in here, let's go in. No, that's not what I wanted. We're not looking at that right now. We want to go into staff management. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to go over to KIA former. These are all the guys that I got killed sending them out on missions. Oh, I'll miss you guys. Oh, man, that was a diplomat. That guy had lessons instances of trouble. And he was a good interpreter, too. Fuck. But look at this. This guy was an A-plus in combat. That's... Okay. Great. So we'll go in here, we'll sort them by skills. Ascending. Wait, no, we want descending. Yeah. And then you can hit triangle to actually get more info, like specific info on the guys. So that's Miller. You can see what he does. Ocelot. And if you scroll down, you'll eventually get to all the guys that are troublemakers. I have four of them right now, right? One, two, three, four, five. I must picked up an extra one. I don't feel like dealing with these guys. So they're getting the boot. Just fuck off. Yeah, you're done. This guy has a dot next to him. Does that mean I can't? Is he on a mission or something? Oh, he's gone now. Fuck him. Uh, this guy. I don't know what the X means either. That, that might mean he's out on a mission. Yeah, he's on a mission, so we'll have to fire him when he gets back. And you can see most of these guys are just like E and D ranks, so I'm not really missing out on much. Yeah, support unit level down. That's okay, we'll get by without him. That, those troublemakers almost do more harm than they're worth. Thunder Wasp, your time is limited. All right, pretty good progress, I would say. Getting in the four-wheeler. Really wants me to view the controls. You can hide in the truck. I still don't understand, hold circle to move the vehicle. Uh, call menu, call radio. I wish it had some kind of like power slide. It doesn't seem to. Maybe it's built into the brakes. And see, if I hold down circle... It doesn't really change anything. I'm holding down circle right now. So I really don't know what that means. But it doesn't matter. We're just gonna GTF out of here. Also, I should probably actually call in that chopper, because I never did that. And now, oh, we can, he can pick me up in the base. Oh, that's badass. Support helicopter Roger. requested. I didn't realize that. <laughs> We're driving away when we didn't need to. That's that's why we can climb up there. That's the whole purpose of it. <laughs> Action roll out. What about this forklift? No. Makes me so mad that I can't drive the forklifts. I'm so mad. Now, I do have that thing equipped that is, like, supposed to reduce the deployment time of the choppers. I actually figured out how to go in and equip it, so it's done. Um, how the hell do I actually get up there, though? I love doing that. And I did go in and change my helicopter music from Rebel Yell to Flight of the Valkyries. Only because I was getting kind of bored of the same song. I love that song, but you gotta mix it up, you know? Yeah! 
don't know why I felt compelled to do that. I just really, really did. <laughs> All right, guys, we acquired the stun arm blueprint. Night infiltration. Consider waiting until night. That was good in the dark. Some enemies will be napping. That's awesome. Side ops list updated. Oh god, more side ops added. They just never stop, guys. I wanted to get rid of all these before we did, you know, the the last two main missions I have unlocked. But for for Christ's sake. So we've got prisoner extraction 02, which is all the way down on the other side of the map. Unlucky dog 02, which is over in that corner. And oh, the ones they added were target practices. I have no idea if that's something I should show in my Let's Play, to be honest. I, I think it would be good to show them once. I can't really beat all of them right now, though. Some of them are really freaking hard. So maybe I'll do, like, a separate video just for that. Like, just, like, here's the target practice, because that would probably fill up a, a good 20 minutes, if not even more, going through and doing four target practices. But I think in the next video, guys, I'm going to mop up these last two side, side ops, uh, Prisoner Extraction and Unlucky Dog. I was hoping this one would go a little faster. It didn't. It took a little while, but I think it was good. That was a new area. It was a lot of fun. I got to try out some new things, and it all went pretty well, so I'm happy. So, that's probably what we'll do next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I'd appreciate it if you could like the video, if you like the video, because it helps me out. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you later.